it seems like a lot of people are having issues streaming their devices wirelessly to the extra beam today i'm going to be showing you guys how to successfully connect your phone and stream it to the extra beam and i'm also going to show you guys how you can run desktop mode on almost any android device so kind of like how samsung has dex but most people don't realize you can actually do desktop mode on almost any devices no one on youtube has done this well at least that i've seen so i guess i'm going to be the first showing you guys how to do that and i'm also going to show you guys how to simply connect to the iphone it's pretty easy this is an old iphone but i'm going to be using these devices to show you guys how the connection is going to work the first device that i'm going to be using is this old cheap tablet by a company called un i don't even i doubt if you guys even heard of it before but it's android uh, 9 i have this old phone it's a cheap phone as well as the track phone currently runs android 11 and then i have my samsung fold 4 which runs the latest version of android which is android 13 here i have an iphone it's an older iphone but they pretty much all connect the same swipe up screen mirror pretty easy now to force desktop mode on your devices you're gonna need to do a few things the first way to tell if your phone is even capable of doing that is to go into your notification settings so you swipe down and you're gonna see cast if you see cast then your phone or tablet will more than likely be able to now once you see cast what you're gonna do is you're gonna press and hold it and you're gonna go into this three icon right here and you're gonna enable wireless display if you don't enable wireless display your extra beam is not gonna show up but once you enable it then your extra beam is going to show up and then you're going to click on it and it's going to cast right away the same goes for pretty much any other android phone that has the ability to cast if i go on another device on this one i can also press an old cast you're going to see settings you're going to click on settings and you're going to click on this this is already enabled enable wireless device and then on this one right here we're going to click on enable wireless device wireless display as well once the x-real beam is fully on it's going to start showing the option as you can see i have connected it previously to this phone before so i know it definitely works because i've done it once the x-real beam is on you're going to see the, the option to cast to the beam this is a wireless display notice if I turn this off the beam is gonna disappear just like that all of the wireless displays disappear and if I turn it back on with time it, com it automatically comes back on also applies to this Android 9 tablet I'm not gonna connect it right now and that's for this Android devices. On Samsung, it's it's a little different because Samsung doesn't use Cast. They use something called Smart View. So on Samsung's option, it's called a Smart View. All you have to do is click on Smart View, and your beam is gonna be showing. Right now, it's automatically connecting to the beam, which I don't want it to automatically connect, but since it is automatically connected i'm going to show you guys some options that you can do so when you have this smart view option on right you can let's say you want to go to youtube right you can go to youtube and then you can actually app cast so only cast youtube to the glasses and then you can keep on doing everything else you want to do you can actually move it out of the way and now YouTube will be showing on your glasses and you can still do 
everything else you want to do so you can go to different apps go to Amazon and shop and things like that whereas uh, YouTube is playing on your glasses and if you want to go back to the YouTube app swipe the icon you can even scroll or you can go back to a full screen and that's it so something else that you can do with your Samsung uh, display option is you can change the aspect ratio so you can make the your phone smaller that way it's the aspect ratio is more fitted to your screen to your external screen which is your extra display or you can make your phone you know full screen by the way if you want to be able to uh, app cast you have to go to labs and select this allow all apps to be cast so we're gonna disconnect and we're gonna show you the other option that Samsung has to, for connection which is the Samsung DeX so most of you already know Samsung DeX if you have Samsung at least a premium Samsung phone to connect with the Samsung DeX all you simply have to do is it automatically shows up and you can click on start now if you want to get connected if not then cancel if you want to connect to the iPhone it's the same exact process well it, it works for all iPhones the same way screen mirroring and extra beam is gonna show up so let's say you're watching a video for example I'm watching this video from my fitness page and you want to cast it to your glasses all you have to do is swipe either up and down from your uh, iPhone you're gonna click on screen mirror your extra beam is gonna show up once it's connected the video is going to be showing on your glasses so you have body anchor mode and the video from your iPhone is showing on the glasses and you still have the controls here now with the iPhone it's a little finicky uh, if you go to your home screen that video uh, sometimes would disconnect and you have to reconnect it sometimes you have to restart this and the process is not always as smooth as it should be but I do think it helps if you are on the same Wi-Fi connection and the Wi-Fi is very strong now that you've seen how to connect to iPhone and Samsung I'm gonna show you guys how to force desktop mode on almost any Android device I say almost because I don't think this method works with a pixel I went to Best Buy and I tried because I don't have a pixel I tried to do it at Best Buy but I needed a password on the phone and I couldn't get into the developer option so unfortunately I wasn't able to test it with a pixel in order for you to force desktop mode on any Android devices here's what you're gonna to need to do first thing first is you're gonna need a Bluetooth mouse this Bluetooth mouse is what's gonna allow you to be able to control your desktop display because you're not gonna to have touch access to that desktop display this will be your means this is will be your way of controlling that screen the first step you're gonna do is go to your settings on this tablet I've already done it and you can see the developer options and this is where you're gonna need to go to but on this phone I'm gonna show you guys how to get to developer options so settings you're gonna to go to about phone and then when you get to about phone you're gonna to go to the build number and then you're gonna keep tapping it until it shows three two one to developer option you're gonna put in your password says now you're a developer once you put in your password the next thing you're gonna do is depending on your phone you can search for developer option but since I already know where this one is I'm gonna go into systems then I can go into advanced and now I have developer options so to force desktop mode you can either search right here search desktop 
or you can scroll all the way down. To make this easy, I'm just going to scroll all the way down. Once you get to the bottom of the screen, you're going to toggle this force desktop mode on and enable freeform windows. That way you are able to move the windows in the desktop display. Force activity to be resizable. That way you can minimize and expand the apps that you do open on your desktop mode. And then force allow apps on external. I believe this is allow you this allows you to be able to run any apps on the external display. So once again, turn on all four of this. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna turn this one on. I have no idea what it does, but I'm gonna turn that on. So turn on all these four for sure. Maybe this if you want. Then once you're done, all you have to do is go back to cast. cast option here is where you're going to connect to your extra beam or connect to any external wireless display now in order for me to be able to record it and show you guys what you're going to be seeing on the beam I'm going to connect this phone to my computer and show you guys exactly what you'd be seeing if you were to be looking through the extra beam as I mentioned to make it easy for me to record what I'm going to be seeing on the extra beam I am using my computer to cast so just as I'm connected to my display you'd be connected to your extra beam display the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Bluetooth and then you're gonna remember you're gonna connect the mouse that we talked about earlier. Once the mouse is connected to your phone, you're gonna see it show on the screen. You see the mouse? This mouse is actually connected to this phone. So what you're seeing right here is actually coming from this phone. And now you can actually go to this icon right here this is how you get to your apps on your phone and this is desktop mode now you have access to all these apps that are on your phone and you're running desktop mode from this phone once again this is android 11 so it's a cheap phone it's not even anything powerful uh, these are your apps and you can choose whichever app you want to run so you can you can go to let me see you can go to YouTube and this is gonna open now this is not a view you want on your actual glasses so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this icon right here and it's gonna expand it for you so now you have full screen and this is my last video so I'm just gonna click on it and as you can see you can play videos literally straight from your Android phone you're, you're running desktop on an external display which in this case will be the extra beam via glass I mean the actual glasses via the beam and you can continue to do other stuff with your phone so you, you're not even you don't have to just run YouTube off the off the uh, phone you can literally continue to do other stuff you can go to um, I don't know you can go to Facebook and continue to work in your Facebook account you don't necessarily have to keep this uh, the same app on the phone as you know as on the screen if that makes sense and if you want to exit the app all you have to do is hit back on your mouse or you can hit back towards the corner of the screen and that would exit from that full screen and you can hit back again or you can hit this arrow right here and that would close the YouTube now you can also do ESPN now Netflix 
and Prime would not work because of DRM, especially Netflix. So you're gonna hear the audio, but you're not gonna get a video. So anytime you're trying to stream anything wirelessly from uh, Netflix, it's just not won't work. It, it won't work. Uh, now ESPN would work. So if you want to watch ESPN, all you have to do is go to ESPN. One thing to note is for this process to work, you need to be on the same network. And it, it will be helpful if your network is actually uh, fast or if it is if it's a decent speed. So this is ESPN now. I can watch just about anything I want to watch. And just like that, you have ESPN running. But, so as you can see, ESPN works. And the sound would come out from whatever. So if, it, if this is the display you want it to be, the sound is going to come out from there. If it's your glasses, the sound is going to come out from your glasses. Or you can even put on earphones. Just as I mentioned, this whole display is literally coming out from this phone. And this is not a Samsung. This is basically what Samsung DeX and Motorola uh, G, whatever they call Motorola's, is. Except you can run it on almost any Android. I don't know why this is not being promoted. But anyways, so you see here first, well... I'm sure there are videos on how to force desktop mode on YouTube, but I'm not seeing anybody try to put it on actual glasses before. And just to show you guys that this actually works with the glasses, I'm going to stream this same view into the glasses and sh uh, record it. The same method works with the glasses like I mentioned. If you want to connect to the glasses, all you have to do is click on cast. And now you're going to have desktop mode on your glasses. And you can still do other stuff with your phone. To show you guys from the glasses point of view, is, is, uh, from the glasses view, it's a little hard. That's why I showed you guys on my computer, but I'm going to attempt to do so now. So this is what it looks like from the glasses. As you can see, I have the desktop app open and I can pretty much run the same thing I was showing you guys from my computer and everything is running from this phone right here.